Irish squad for the Rugby World Cup 2023, folks, is out. I would say no real surprises. No real surprises. The sun is coming up here at NZ. It's a school morning. I'm about to get my kids up out of bed, but they won't want to get up, hopefully. So let's talk about the Irish squad for the next few minutes, and then I'll get up and get them some breakfast. We'll get them up. I'm already up. I've been watching France and Australia play. Um, but yeah, I'm very keen to have a look at the depth chart for the Irish squad. I've been doing depth charts. We've looked at England and Australia and South Africa and New Zealand and whatnot. There's been Scotland. There's been great variations in how the teams have been managed. I feel like of all the kind of fluid rotation changes and like set plan, determined, consistent, Ireland is way more on the consistent end. They've got this core squad, which has largely been with them this entire Rugby World Cup cycle. And this group of players should be at their peak for this World Cup. And a lot of these guys, when you look at the ages, will be playing in their last. But um, yeah, we'll go through the squad pretty quick. You guys can let us know your thoughts. If you want to check the other depth chart vids out, I'll put them up there. They should be interesting in, for a bit of comparison and contrast compared to the Irish, which I'll work on probably this week sometime. Um, here in Callaghan, Sheehan, the only real surprise there is that, uh, well, I mean, Tom Stewart's out. He was always going to be the first guy to be cut, depending on the fitness of uh, Keller and Sheehan, who've both come through all good. So that's fantastic news for Ireland because there's a bit of an injury cloud on both those guys. Uh, Bielham, Furlong, Kilcoyne, Lockman, O'Toole, Porter, Props. Kean Healy's name is not there. It's because he's injured. He picked up an injury in the Samoa game. Um, that's devastating for him. Stage of his career, they said five to ten weeks recovery, depending on how the rehab goes. Uh, just brutal really feel for the guy he's certainly not the only guy who's going to miss out on this world cup there will be more there's already been some but yeah for his stage in his career this is probably his last dance so yeah that's really disappointing for him but the propping stocks are really good porter and uh, furlong have been two of the best props in the world recently uh Bielham's come along leaps and bounds so um yeah i think you'd be pretty you'd be pretty happy with your stocks there locks uh burn henderson mccarthy and ryan as your kind of four specialist locks i guess and then ryan baird a bit of a hybrid lock loose forward. Again, I think you're pretty well stacked. McCarthy is the youngest guy in the squad, the least experienced of the locks, but Byrne with his turnovers, James Ryan with his work rate, and Ian Henderson, a bit of a jack of all trades, still gets a bit underrated, to be honest. But um, yeah, I think you'd be pretty you'd be pretty content with how that's looking as well. Uh, if Baird's playing in the, the, the second row, he's about as athletic as you're going to get. And if he's playing in the back row, he adds a bit of tall timber. So kind of plus plus. And then Conan, Doris, Amani, and Van der Fleer, you know, the four forwards. Um, you'd have to be really happy with the balance there as well, man. Van der Fleer, current World Player of the Year. Doris is going to be in the conversation for World Player of the Year. You'd have to imagine Jack Conan rediscovering his form that he had a couple of years ago when he went on that Lions tour when he was one of the best eights in the world. And then Omani, experienced, great line-out disruptor. Um, got some great zingers. Certainly got a few sick burns on people with the old uh, one-liners. But um, yeah, 28 is the average age of the Fords. Feel a bit for Kian Prendergast because I thought he played really well the other day. Um, and Kian Healy, obviously. But yeah four pack very very stable uh backs are actually slightly older than the fords at 29 and a half you've got a few guys like sexton murray um and earls who probably bump up the average age a wee bit but um yeah halfbacks casey gibson park and murray those are your three guys a lot of experience with gibson park and murray gibson park still seems to be the first choice guy with his incredible rate of distribution but connor murray uh, got man of the match in the game against Samoa with his pretty adept box kicking, which he's pretty well known for. And then Casey, uh, thankfully, is one of the guys in this World Cup squad who's actually managed to get a wee bit of experience. Like, it's one of the things about Andy Farrell's squad being so consistent is it's less about bringing in some of the youngsters for game time and more about keeping the core group together. But we need to remember, outside of the test side, there's also been other Irish fixtures organized, like the Ireland A team and then that uh, other team that toured South Africa where um, the, the fringe guys have been getting action, maybe not tests, but they've still been getting some game time, which is kind of building that depth. Tens, Ross Byrne, Jack Crowley, and Johnny Sexton. Jack Crowley uh, has been like a bit of a meteoric rise in the last, I want to say, 18 months. He's been playing bloody well. I mean, he maybe, does he surpass Ross Byrne at this point? I know a lot of fans would say yes. Sexton is obviously the captain, and he's going to be your main guy. 
Uh, he's going to be lacking a little bit of match sharpness, having had that ban recently, but Romania and Tonga are the first two games, which in terms of world rankings means you essentially have your two easy games, if you want to call it that, at a World Cup. No game's going to be easy, but you know what I mean. Um, to maybe shake off with a bit of the rust, and the sixth and as experienced as he is, should be ready to go pretty much from the get-go, you would say. Midfield, Aki, Henshaw, McCloskey, and Ringrose. I mean, probably Henshaw and Ringrose as you start, guys. That's been a kind of tried and true combination, but then Aki played pretty well the other day. McCloskey, probably the fourth guy, but he's a big old ball-carrying unit, so I am quietly chuffed for him personally. And then outside backs, Earls, Hanson, Lowe, Keenan, and O'Brien. you got to like O'Brien's versatility, but Keenan has got an absolute lock on fullback. James Lowe with his extra big boot on the left wing, and then Mac Hanson has got the X factor on the right. Keith Earls, um, the veteran, can cover center if needs be, but um, yeah... I don't know, man. Stockdale is the kind of main guy to miss out who played the other day, stood in for Keith Earls when he kind of pulled out late. But yeah, like I said, there's no real kind of huge surprises. This is pretty much the Irish squad that I think everyone expected, barring Kian Healy being out through injury. And there will be guys who will come into the squad undoubtedly through injury, but to know that you've got a guy like Stockdale or Prendergast, you know, who's been in good form, to kind of be the next cab off the rank, I think you'd be pretty you'd be pretty pleased with the depth. There's not really any positions where you look at it and go, if they miss this one guy, I mean maybe Sexton with the experience, but Jack Crowley just quietly has been playing some pretty tidy rugby. So playing tidy rugby is a different thing from going into like a World Cup knockout game. But anyway, we will see how this Irish squad goes. Romania first up, Tonga, South Africa, and then Scotland. It's going to be a very interesting pool. That pool B, very, very competitive. And then, in all likelihood, New Zealand or France in a quarterfinal, unless Italy can pull off something of a minor miracle. But yes, I better get my kids up and ready for school. You guys let us know your thoughts on the Irish squad. How are they looking? Any areas you think they're a bit light? But um, yeah, you guys let us know your thoughts. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. See you later.